Hello everyone. It is really important that we design, we fabricate, we use correct material, test, inspect and operate different piping and pipeline system based on the correct code. There are different codes. So it is really important to know the scope application of these codes. So we know that in what particular industry, what particular scenario, what code we should use. In this video, I will try to explain the scope of different codes so that we know that in what scenario, what code we should use so that we have safe and reliable piping and pipeline systems. Let's start. Number one, ASME B31.1 or power piping. This code we use for piping systems in power generating systems, heating and cooling system, geothermal heating systems. Number two, ASME B31.3 or process piping. This code we use normally for a chemical refineries, textile, paper, pharmaceutical, and cryogenic applications. Number three is ASME B31.4 pipeline transportation system for liquid and salaries. We use this code for the transportation of liquid and salaries. And basically this includes the pipeline, pumping station, tank farm, storage facilities, and pumping station and also connected piping. Next is the ASME B31.8 gas transmission and distribution system. So this code we use for the transportation and distribution of the gas system. And this includes the, including the pipeline, compressor station, metering station, regulating station, up to the customer boundary limit. Next is the ASME B31.9 and this is a building service piping. This code we use for the piping which used for our industrial commercial building and those piping which does not cover in the range of um, uh, ASME B31 temperature and pressure. Next is ASME B31.12 which is a hydrogen piping and pipeline. This code we use for the gaseous and liquid hydrogen piping and this includes piping up to the joint of the equipment but not it equipment itself i hope this video was helpful to you if you like this video just press the like button and until my next video take care and bye